It's a genuine stitch up this, but I don't really have anything to do on a Monday morning because usually my body's so banged up, I don't feel that great, but um, it is what it is. I try to sleep, but unfortunately last night, no good sleeping, so I've got about six hours sleep last night. And uh, if we make matters worse, I'm on driving duty today with Jacob Hopper and Josh Kelly, so this is gonna be riveting fun. Oh, mate, listen to my favorite podcast. Unfortunately, it's not my own, but it's Dill Buckley's work. The content's great, he's a, he's a very funny man, and uh, nothing wrong with listening to some quality Dylan Buckley to get your day going. Local bar, it's called. It's my favorite coffee spot in Sydney. Um, Charlie, Rose and Steph and the team are outstanding. They always look after me and uh, I've turned Charlie into a mad GWS fan and he uh, always puts money on us to win and I think he'll be happy with what we did last night. Coffee in hand, pick up duty on. Now, I've got to pick up the Muppets. I'm not sure where they are. Boys, I just got you guys some coffees. Jacob, Josh, I got you some coffees, let's go, come on. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, have a coffee guys. That's what we always do when we get in the Such car together. <laughs> Such a stand in one. Might put the footy fill on soon. It was a good win, obviously. Extenuating circumstances at the end where uh, we had a few injuries and a few blokes we had to rest. So down to 18 on the field and then um, fortunately we're in a position where we could, you know, make sure that we weren't taking any undue risk in that situation, which was good. And um, yeah, it was nice to get the four points and set up our next three weeks which are going to be enormous we need, we need to make sure we win as many of those as possible but um yeah, it was a pleasing it was a pleasing win to play a really relentless type of footy so obviously um i'm, I'm following up off kenner's last week and it'd be remiss of me not to mention that i love to play uber especially for significant people and apart from their footballing prowess these two are part of an illustrious pack which don't let many people in. And Ken has alluded to it last week because he's the other member. And it's very rare that I get to drive two or more in a car because actually all three of them aren't allowed in the same car in case there's an incident. So, Jay, you want to talk about the sort of honour it is to be a part of that group? Oh, it's probably the most significant group I've ever been a part of in my life. So, Davo has got the unique ability to get two of us and obviously led by our, our leader here. I don't actually know what you're talking about. He's a courageous, fearless leader. This is what I have to put up with, like. So my Monday morning is usually about getting around the boys, and obviously we've got Brett here, Josh you've seen, Jacob and that's Stephen. We're just doing a little bit extra this week because big game on Saturday night. Um, making sure we've got the uh, long sleeves ready. I think Josh said he's going to wear long sleeves this weekend. Josh, you still going to wear long sleeves this weekend? Uh, I might, yeah. yeah. So Saturday night, Sunday night, it's going to be minus two. Oh, perfect. Okay, so he's just down to do that minus uh, 40, and he's going to get down to temperature around about minus 120. That's cold! All right, here's the cabin temperature. And this is how long he's got to go. So he's got a minute and 10 seconds to go now. Three, two, one, and done. Well, half of us have finished our recovery session, so we just walk down the road to get a coffee, and um, the other half are going to swap in and do their recovery session. So, the good thing is, when you come with the, the skipper of the pack, he's very popular and he draws quite a big crowd. If you have a look around, um, he gets a big crowd, don't you, Chuck? No comment. <laughs> but no, we're just having a, a relaxed afternoon, and Chuck is doing what he does best, and that's ordering chorizo because you're obviously of an Italian heritage. So, um, chorizo and bacon. Yeah, morning after the game. It was good, feeling fresh now. Well, looking forward to getting um, down to UNSW Canberra Oval. Obviously, it's our first ever um, in season or premiership season night game, so we uh, haven't been beaten down there for a while, and you know, we're looking to maintain that against a, a side in very good form in Adelaide who. Uh, still trying to, to play finals and they need to win so but we're, we're desperate to win as well so yeah another big challenge but love getting down to Canberra we get great support there and hopefully it's sold out um, always enjoyed beating Adelaide which has been a bit few and far between unfortunately but we got them in round 11 down there and um, yeah we got to um, enjoy the fruits of our labor which at that time was watermelons that was a nice little treat in the in the change rooms after so uh, 
But yeah, no, it's uh, looking forward to playing, in, in particular, a couple of the boys I'm, I'm really good mates with. And um, Dave McKay will be playing his 200th on, um, on Saturday night, so it'll be good to be a part of that game. And hopefully he doesn't have any success on his 200th. We're just passing Massillary now, guys. So it's obviously the home of Stephen Cornelio. So, uh, Stephen. Stephen. Just want everyone to know that I've had to put certain words into my responses today and I hope they've appreciated yeah. some of my creativity. And then ask if they can guess the word. That's a great thing. Great game. <laughs> That's a great game for the fans. <laughs>